Good evening, good evening, good evening. Merry not so stupid o'clock, everyone. Welcome to an episode of Snowing Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels. I figured I'd get this vid out real, real quick here right before I had to jump on to my stream because it's Monday. Well, it won't be when this video comes out, but you get my point. <clears throat> We are going back to that horrible world known as the JRC, but before we get going, a few usual disclaimers. And yes, we're making this quick because my freaking wisdom tooth is killing me. All right, first off, you are going to see the link to this report, miscellaneous mini reports, right there in the description box alongside the other pertinent links to the Stop the Shocks campaign, including Autistic Hoya's massive archive on the subject. And the templates, folks, you know the drill. Sign your name, click on your senator, and the ever-present and self-explanatory change.org shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition. Now, folks, when we speak about the JRC, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of and catch clips of surveillance footage of people with disabilities being tortured and abused. If you got young children present, please use your headphones, all right? Okay, we are going to incident that took place on June the 10th, 2008. They called it a non-emergency. Again, who's surprised? Internal act, omission, no injury. Really? Allegation summary. They are managing behaviors in an overly cautious way. ALV is being punished severely for things that are not dangerous. They're using punishment on the ALB that are used for individuals who are aggressive or engaged in SIB. ALB feels this is emotionally abusive. For fuck's sake, using that on anyone for any reason is abuse. The fact that they even make a kid fucking doubt it. The fact that they even make a kid think that this is not physical torture. God, if anyone wants to know who the real monsters in this world are, my exhibit goddamn A. Moving on, criminal activity statement. This report has not been sent to the district attorney. If any indication of criminal activity is discovered, contact the state police department unit. TPR Lisa Washington Brown reviewed the case on June the 10th. 2008 and says DMH conduct an administrative mistreatment review. Allegation. They are managing behaviors in an overly cautious way. ALV is being punished severely for things that are not dangerous. They are using punishment on ALV that are used for individuals who are aggressive or engaged in SIB. For fuck's sake, it's not going to stop that evil, you fucking psychopaths. AO feels this is emotionally abusive and physically. There is a classroom where they put students who have been, have aggressive behaviors. They are very restricted and sit in a cubicle all day and do classwork. It is depressing being in this room. There is no social interaction. It's like sitting in a cell. ALV is left there for an extended time. She's not put in a classroom with the other people. It is very harsh being all by herself with no one to talk to. At her residence, she cannot speak with anyone has to stay in her room. But remember that Jennifer Masamba talked about that there was real no social interaction encouraged whatsoever between the students. ALV does not do things that bad to be placed in this type of setting. They just put the ALV in this setting today. She and Blank were messing around and they got caught. ALV was there before a month for writing an inappropriate story when she got out. She got in trouble again and now she's going to be there again oh for fuck's sake god damn it it's a fucking teenager of course we're inappropriate you ever watched the goddamn simpsons back in the day south park anyone the fuck beavis and butthead for my generation this has made the alv much more anxious alv feels she is treated worse than the other students she got in trouble with another student, and that student was in trouble for only one day while she is being placed in the isolated setting and will be there for a while. ALV is scared if her treatment team finds out blank, they may find something to justify restrictions. 
LV is afraid of what else they might do. LV wishes something can be done quickly. In other words, she's saying this, but what she actually fears is being put on the shocks. Yeah. LV has been at Judge Rotenberg's since February of 2006. LV prefers if someone visits and speaks to her directly. Blank. So this is a student reporting an incident herself. A rare occurrence indeed. It sounds like to me she's trying to avoid being shocked for no reason. And why would she fear this? Why would she go out of her way to write this sort of letter to BB DPPC? Why would she be saying anything like this? Because she fears what else they are going to do. Mm -hmm. Those students are in those classrooms. They sit there and watch. They hear. They see what's happening to the students who are getting shocked to the people who are being starved, to the people who are not being allowed to be able to sleep. They're not stupid like the JRC wants you to believe. And what this person is thinking is if they keep upping the restrictions, if they keep finding excuses to keep me in these restrictions, eventually I'm gonna be on the shocks too. So I'm going to try and do something to circumvent this, but that's not how the JRC works now, is it, boys and girls? Oh, no, not at all. More than likely, this poor girl is on GED shocks even while we speak, and there will be messages about how she deteriorated and got it worse and became self-aggressive. I'd put money on it. I'd put money on it. And on that dark note, folks, we're going to close out for this evening. We don't get very many views on this channel, especially on this subject. And the few that we do get do to get, in, to get removed from time to time. So folks, please don't forget to hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the comments. I do appreciate your time this evening. And I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye, all.